Hello and welcome to this lightning talk. Um, I'm Rachel Pownall and I'm one of the Knowledge Exchange Managers on the Southwest Creative Technology Network or SWICTN as we also call it. Um, I'm a white woman in her 50s. I've got brown eyes and kind of grey white shoulder length hair and I'm wearing a black jacket and a black top. Um, I'm joined on my left by British Sign Language Interpreter Siobhan Green. Siobhan's pronouns are she, her. She's a white woman in her mid thirties and she's wearing a black top with puffy elbow length sleeves. Um, her hair is brown and tied in a ponytail and she's sitting interpreting with a blue screen as a background. Um, so this lightning talk is about the Swapton data prototype include. Include is a software prototype that helps make marketing content more inclusive. It, in just a few clicks. Um, include uses machine learning to evaluate both language and images and identify negative bias, whether that be sexist, racist, or ableist. Um, the talk is gonna be hosted or be taken by Joanne Boyce, who is the project lead for Include. Joanne is an inclusive marketing consultant and founder of The Social Detail. She's a fierce advocate for diversity and inclusion within marketing and tech. And I'm going to hand over to Joanne now. Over to you, Joanne. Thank you so much, Rachel. Hi, as mentioned before, my name is Joanne Boyce. My pronouns are she and her. I am a black woman with shoulder length hair and I'm wearing a yellow jumper. And I'm based in Bristol. I'm going to be talking about our prototype, Include. Include is a software to help marketers create and understand the bias within the content. Some of the reasons why I created Include was through examples like this. H&M put out content which was not received very well. For those who don't remember, in about 2018, there was a campaign by H&M where young children were modeling different clothing. However, the only little black boy in that campaign had a coolest monkey in the jungle sweater. This wasn't met very well with the public as they found it quite offensive and derogatory. And it led to H&M losing about $4 billion in unsold stock. But it's not only just the problem and the backlash, it's also the opportunity for brands. Vogue is considered one of the most well-known magazines and sometimes is held as the pinnacle of what beauty is in society. However, a study done by Pudding in 2019 found that Vogue is sometimes a little biased in their representation. Their representation of darker skin individuals on their cover tends to be almost near to none. But this is kind of a missed opportunity for Vogue. It left a wide range of untapped markets for them to advertise and sell their magazine to. And of those untapped markets, the spending power is great. If we look at the spending power of marginalized communities within the UK alone, the spending power every year on year by the black and Asian community is almost 300 billion. And if we equate this to the LGBT community, disabled people and people aged over 65, there are huge markets that brands and companies are not tapping into and not representing in their content. Inclusive marketing is not about charity, it's about business. We saw a problem though. We saw a problem that there was no tool to help marketers with inclusion, to help them understand the bias in the content that they were putting into the public and help them spot the areas of potential misuse or where it could cause negative impact. In the work I have done with my agency, The Social Detail, we've been looking into what inclusive marketing is and the benefits of it for various companies. We've consulted with companies such as the Princess Trust, the Coca-Cola, and recently we've spoken to large banks and corporations to help them understand how inclusive marketing can be beneficial to their brand. So we're well versed in the positive outcomes, but we wanted to see what we can do to create a software to help individuals when we are not always in the room. So that's where Include comes in. Include is a desktop software that marketing agencies can use to run tests on campaigns that they're creating for B2C clients. 
is to help them understand where there could potentially be bias or cause offense in the written or visual aspects of the marketing content they're creating. As it was once said, if you can't measure it, then you can't improve it. So we see include being the way to improve representation and inclusion within marketing by helping marketers and brands measure who they're representing in society. Our prototype takes brands on a journey where they can log into a dashboard and see the previous campaigns they have created and run through the software. To upload a campaign, they can provide information, resources, and a short description of who that target audience is. So they can always refer back to what the campaign idea was. Through a machine learning software, we produce a report. Our current prototype is looking at skin tone representation within campaigns. So it will tell them the most used skin tone within the campaign and the least use. And as we build out the software, it will give them an inclusivity score in terms of skin tone and gender. We'll also be looking to include language as well. So focusing on skin tone, there's a lot of colorism within the marketing community as seen within the Vogue campaign. But we don't just wanna highlight things, we also want to give them resources. So once we figure out what the problem is, we'll send, we'll send them resources which can help them increase their campaign representation if they're using stock photos by finding bespoke stock photo imagery, or if they're using models, introduce them to inclusive modeling agencies that specialize in dark skin models or disabled models. So that's the reporting aspect of Include. However, through our user research, we also found another aspect. Marketers and brands don't just want to have their biases or their potential impact highlight them. They also wanna to learn to do better. So what we did through our research is we included, included a academy arm to the software. In the academy, marketers can learn what inclusive marketing is, how to bring it into the room, into the conversation, have training sessions on colorism within marketing to understand its causes, how to spot it and improve it, have access to resources such as stock photography banks, as previously mentioned, or um, diverse influencers, or other ways they can visually increase the representation and access to models. This academy is providing marketers with a resource even before they get into creating the campaign. So thinking of all the things that we've done with Include and our prototype, who's the target market? So we're looking to work with or have marketing agencies use Include as a software in their day-to-day -day content creation. There are about 250,000 marketing agencies in the UK from a medium to large size. These are marketing agencies with large teams that create content for huge B2C brands. And in terms of the market, the addressable market, we estimate that in 2021, the addressable market for Include would be about 1.35 billion and is expected to increase by 1.6 billion in the year 2024. Throughout the pandemic, we've seen a lot of marketers and a lot of agencies turn to tools to support them. So why not also get support in inclusive marketing? Because this is also what the future wants. This is what the consumers want when they're looking forward to brands helping and supporting them. 38% of consumers currently say they trust brands that show diversity in their ads. And this is set to grow year on year as generations come up. So who is the industry that we're going to be working with? Currently, there are no set direct competitors as we're approaching inclusive marketing in a new aspect. The current approach to this is to provide a service in where an agency specializes in reaching bespoke audiences. So you've got agencies like Got To Be Ethnic, Out Loud, or solutions marketing, which specializes in approaching dis disabled markets. There are other bigger brands, such as Brand Advance, who look across the mixture of aspects and doesn't focus on a niche area. And then you have the research aspect of things. There are the big companies like Google and IBM who are working with machine learning and trying to identify bias, but on a very huge scale and steeped in a lot of research, which is hard for our marketers and everyday content creators to absorb. On the tools side of things, we have softwares like Wave and Grammarly and even Canva that help marketers create content. Grammarly even helps them understand their grammar. But none of these tools look at things with inclusion. 
So with all that in mind, what is our business model? Similar to a lot of the softwares out there, we're looking to have a monthly subscription model where the users or the agency will be charged per user and they'll be limited to a number of campaigns per their package. However, we also have a secondary model. This secondary model is looking at our referrals in terms of introducing these agencies to influencers, to stock photography banks, to other agencies that can help support them create greater campaigns and increase their return on investment. Through these referral commissions, we're looking to take about 15% of the consultation fees. And that's, that's our model, that's where we're looking to. There's greater scope in terms of the machine learning model that we'll be building and how we could possibly license this out. But initially we were looking at subscription. The team behind include, I'm so proud of my team. Over the past three months, we've been able to take something that's been just an idea and build it to a working machine learning model that we're able to upload campaigns to. And we've got so many ambitions for the future. The team includes myself, Joanne Boyce, and I lead up the data research and machine learning aspect of the company with Mukta, our machine learning engineer. Then we have our research and design aspect, which is Tulla and Moya, who've been speaking with marketers for the past three months and really trying to understand how they'll be using the software in order to design something that is useful and beneficial to them. And then we have our development, which is led by Tessa and Grace, building on the actual software that we have for marketers to use and making it work in their day-to-day. -day. Building a prototype during the pandemic has meant one of the great things. I've been able to work with a team who's spread across the UK, from London, Bristol, Lancaster, and Reading. We come from a range of backgrounds, but we all understand the mission. And our mission is to convert intent into action and to establish inclusive marketing as an industry standard by 2030. So we've only got about nine years to go, guys, and I want all the support I can get. The next steps for include will be to seek further investment of around 150,000 to help us build out our current model and develop our language model. This will help us to go to market and test, the, <clears throat> test our prototypes with agencies currently as it is. Thank you so much for listening, and I'll be in the chat and hop in if you have any questions.